Well, we've been anticipating color. In fact, we have color, finally, on the doors. As I pan out, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here, but uh, this is a door. Uh, the, let's see, left-hand side, driver's side, rear door. So what we do here is um, we've painted the inside of the doors. It's called jamming. Paint all the door jams. This, in fact, gives good coverage. And in a, in a really thorough restoration such as this is going to be, we don't want to see the original color anywhere. And this is going to eliminate that from occurring. So this is uh, door number one and door number two, and all four doors have been uh, jammed at this point. So, it, it's, again, it's hard to tell just because everything's taped up and doesn't look fantastic in the sense that it, you can say, oh wow, that looks great, it's a painted panel, complete. A lot of overspray onto the, uh, obviously, the paper, the paper here. But uh, this is the process, this is the beginning of it. And uh, this is the first uh, pass at color. And boy, does it look good. That's a, an inspection slash VIN tag on the door that we have left and just taped over and taken it off after we're done. But this is the color that we are heading towards for the whole vehicle. It will be striking. This is a very bright red. It is a base coat clear coat. It has no metallic. It's what we call a solid. No metallic flake in it whatsoever. And... Uh, it is a color that the customer did pick out. We sent him off a color chart from PPG that had a, a bunch of different colors in it. And specifically, it's a Ford color from a Ford uh, pickup truck. So, you know, technically speaking, it's a Ford color. Obviously, it's on a Land Cruiser here. And uh, it's, a, it's a base coat, clear coat. It's DBC, if that means anything to anybody watching. On the other side of this is primer. And what we're, we were talking about this in the meeting the other day, what we're going to be doing on this particular vehicle is uh, doing all the door jams, painting all the painted door jams on the vehicle, um, painting the underneath side of the hood and fenders and things like that. And then what we'll do is we'll reassemble everything on the vehicle, and then we'll do an overall paint on the vehicle. Uh, that way we have good color matching, consistency, etc., etc. Because we're working with a solid, it's not color matching is not, uh, it is not as crucial as you would say with a metallic. Sometimes you can have disc discrepancies in shades with metallics, but uh, that's the way we're going to do this particular project. So it does look fantastic, and uh, it's nice to see color here finally on this as we move forward.